It's been a challenge the last few times we've, we've had to search for coaches. When you're advertising for a senior coach, which is obviously the most important um, role in the footy club, uh, mine, um, <laughs> um, he, it's, it's difficult in the middle of November to find somebody. We were extremely fortunate this year. We, we probably, um, we had two or three candidates that we, we thought would, would fit the bill. I'd obviously heard of Darren, but I hadn't um, had any real um, dealings with him at all. Part of the, um, the process of recruiting a coach is to do a, a presentation. The manner in which he sort of um, presented, he was pretty calm, he was um, you know, very knowledgeable of how he wanted to play and, and so when he applied he was certainly one through the process that stood out above the others. When you, you appoint a new coach it's probably more about not so much the concerns um, or putting a lid on expectations. Um, it's probably more about how quickly he can win them over and gain their respect as well. He's got to try and get to know 55 blokes and you know they've got to get to know one. I knew that I was getting a, a talented list, absolutely, um, but you never expect that it's going to go like clockwork. Pretty simply, I, I thrive and I love to see young people or young blokes work incredibly hard and it achieve success. That's the one thing I just, every, every opportunity I get to, to see someone improve and, and get reward for effort, I thrive off that. And I love this competition for what these guys have to do to play at this level. Um, and to see guys work incredibly hard and, and reap the rewards of that, I, I love that part of it. What's your um, coaching philosophy? Uh, coaching philosophy is relationships first, relationships second, relationships third, that's key. Um, to get to know people, to understand what makes them tick, um, everyone's different, um, to work out what works for every individual. Um, X's and O's are important, but uh, fall well in the background to relationships and connection. Freezing. Got the beanie on as well. You got the jacket? The ski jacket? Yeah, foggy. Oh, like, how, how do I feel? Like, um, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I feel ready and I feel like the group, the group is ready. We're connected and um, doesn't guarantee us anything whatsoever, but um, I feel like we're in the best position we've been in as a group um, for a little while. Um, yeah, again, that guarantees you nothing, but it gives us a good chance. Nice, Andy. Nice, Max. Get those ears warm, mate. Had that feeling in the stomach sort of been sitting there during the week, and um, yeah, you can either sort of try and tuck it away or just, I suppose, embrace it. And we've spoke about that, like em embrace those feelings and embrace embrace what comes with with playing finals. How do we unpack Adelaide? Um, we've played against them a couple of times this year. We've watched them numerous times. They're incredibly talented. Um, I like the fact that we get to play them because I feel like playing against AFL teams or reserves teams brings the best out of our group. Our group thrives off the ultimate challenge. You want to test yourself against the best. That's why we're still playing at this level um, or why guys are playing at this level is because you want to be the best you can be. Um, so to play against those guys, it's, you know, it's really the best that um, we can come up against in this competition. The meeting on a main session night is always the opposition review, so we'll look at some vision of the opposition and we'll talk through the key areas for us. Arnell, he's going to be looking to do that all day long. Got to be whoever's there on him, whoever he's on, you've got to be engaged, not letting him get those handball receives. He can be really dangerous. Arnell equally, they'll give him the ball every single time. Right. Got to be on, big or small, got to get him done. Just a little one of ball lays in ruck, so he did an admirable job. But he gets lost a little bit in transition. Opportunity cam, Doey, who was in there, put the work in, but this is his default. As soon as he can't impact, he's getting behind the footy. What does that create for us? 
Yeah, absolutely. Keep changing direction, keep challenging. Whoever's on him, get really dangerous with the door, get back to the new part of the ground. Doesn't get used, but love to see whoever that is. Keep pushing hard forward. Don't overthink outcome, focus on method. We'll be ready to go. Now it's about going execute. I suppose I am pretty methodical with what I do. I like to um, almost get in early, get my stuff done that I need to get done, like your strapping, necessary stretching. Matty Allen, um, from a football perspective, he's just a, an incredible athlete, six foot three, has incredible running power and endurance, elite ball using ability. I actually don't believe we've seen the best of him yet and I don't believe he believes how good he is just yet. So my challenge as a coach is to keep reinforcing that and keep um, challenging him to be better in his own mind because when he gets that right, he's almost unstoppable. I'd still get nerves um, occasionally, different games, especially finals, like it ramps up. Just try and build, I suppose, what we call, what I call like the barrier of confidence each week. So you can go out there, have confidence in, in what you've done, have confidence that you're prepared um, and that you're ready to go. Go, JB. Pressure on the receiver. Spoken about this a lot those last couple of weeks stopping the forward ball. The first ball, almost a free hit. If you can't get it done, don't overthink it. Worry about making sure we stop the second ball. That then translated into exploding the offense for us. Kicking team, win the footy, challenge open side, change direction, 50 to 70 ball equals deep entries for us. There's our method in a nutshell. That's what's worked all year for us. That's what works for now, forward for us. So much more than just about us. It's about fucking all these other people that fucking value what we do. All they want to see from us today is fucking have a crack. And that's what it's that's what it's about. It's about us thinking outside of ourselves, thinking about the brotherhood, and thinking about the whole fucking world. Can get it. Open space, open goal. Can Bell finish? Bell can! Go again. He wants the goal. Goes the banana. Bounces it through! Back to back goals for the base. Just give Mal first for a minute. Just give Mal a second picture. Max, what you got, Max? How'd they get two there? That was a fucking kick in. Yeah, mate. Are you treating this as a midfield group yourself engaged for longer? We're, let, we're letting them go too early and it's hurting us, alright? So it's going to be more cut. aggressive in your body work. And everything we do will be more aggressive. We're getting rid of the ball. Fucking go to the ball. We're tackle. We're missing tackles. So everything we do as a group is going to be fucking aggressive, right? Oh, it's Dangerous position, Bell's there. O'Loughlin got the hand in there in the important time. Hosey at the front of the pack, and he kicks it. He's fired up, he's got his second. Kick from Matty Allen. We well, you know he's got it in his repertoire. Pumps it, long, wow. Oh, wow. Got enough? He has. Yes. One in the third term. That's a long goal too. Let's see if his accuracy's online. Oh, that's a special goal to finish today's play for Matty Allen. Right now it's just great relief um, and my mind's already starting to tick around what do we need to do now, what do we need to do to be better, so that's, that's probably where I'm at. The players, we give a 12 hour rule where they can just think, think about it tomorrow morning when they get up. I'm supposed to have the same rule, 
very, very difficult for me. I'll be thinking about it all night tonight. And um, obviously our twos won yesterday and some guys went really well in that too. So um, no, I'll, I'll get out of here tonight and I'll probably even watch the game back tonight, to be honest. That's how much I'll be thinking about it. So it won't be too much rest for me, mate. I'm still trying to get used to it a little bit. It's not something I've done a lot of, done a little bit. Um, the last few weeks has been a bit more of it, but I'm not 100% comfortable in it, but um, I feel like I'm getting better. Um, they're pretty stock standard questions, so um, you can sort of maneuver your way through them pretty well, I reckon. There's a few guys that are sort of knocking on the door. Um, some guys that played really well in the reserves last weekend as well and but we also had 22 guys that went out and played outstanding in a in a second semi as well so it'll be difficult to make any changes um, but we'll get through selection tonight and those conversations will start happening tomorrow i don't sleep well the best of times but um i must admit the last two nights i've actually haven't been too bad i've got a bit of sleep the last two nights i did get up reasonably early this morning and um did a little bit but um, I've got enough sleep in, so I suspect as the week goes on that's probably going to change a little bit, particularly after the next couple of days when you have some tough conversations, they sort of, they wear me out a little bit. What's your uh, moment on touching the cup before? Hey? What's your thoughts on touching the cup before then? Just look away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I just admire it with my eyes. This is still played every week. You guys have played this once. Um, so, brother, how will that impact this game? You're involved in a similar situation with Mordado last year. Um, you like to think it doesn't, but yeah, that's probably something we need to address during the week. But our guys are prepared as well as they possibly could. Um, our session last Thursday was was strong, Saturday was strong again. So we've done everything we possibly can without playing. Um, so we think we're ready to go. Being fourth, fifth year as captain, um, you sort of learn what works and, and what doesn't. When I first started, I tried to take too much responsibility, tried to do too much, didn't work for me. Um, and then I realized, you know, being a captain, you, you, you're put in that position for a reason. I like the nerves. I do like it. Um, I think when you have played a, a fair bit, you sort of you probably lose that at times, especially during the year. Um, but for, for bigger games and finals, especially, you get those those nerves, which I really like. And I know that um, when you have ner nerves, it means you care about the result and you care about the performance. So that's what I say to other guys. If, I always like asking. You know, other players or younger players how they're feeling if they say they're nervous and that's good that's good for me to hear um, because it shows that they care i'm thomas stevens and i'm the high performance manager of the glenelg football club mobility on the way back will rotate that way beanie i look after everything high performance at the club so uh, training loads throughout the year uh, the gym program Make sure our loads are not too acute or chronically overloaded and make sure it runs on track. Scannell all good? Oh, Scannell's gonna do this, yeah. yeah. So grand final week compared to throughout the year is a bit of a deload in um, a bit of a taper just because we're not necessarily looking at the weeks after that. It's all just focused around one game. So tapering this week just slightly, about 20% less than normal loads and hopefully that freshens the boys up quite well on game day. So they generally do about 21 kilometres, uh, that's including a game. So on average, probably around 21 kilometres. This week, they'll do about 16 and a half kilometres. I'm not too nervous because I think we're just in a really good position at the moment to attack the grand final. I think if that wasn't the case, I'd be a bit more nervous, but our list is pretty much fully healthy at the moment. Um, Fitness-wise, we're in a really good spot having a couple of weeks off in finals. The players are nice and fresh, and I just think we're primed, ready to attack the grand final.
I think the expectation, to be honest, comes from your supporters and the outside world. I mean, you, there is your internal expectations. And as I said, we believe we've had a group that has been good enough to, to win premierships. Uh, we certainly don't take for granted what it takes to get there. And I suppose you want to capitalise on the most success you can have when you've got a group that you know can, can take you there. The atmosphere down here can be pretty special. Um, but yeah, we absolutely love it when the Bay Faithful are up and about. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a good year for crowds and hopefully everyone rolls out this weekend. I can guarantee you they'll be coming. So um, yeah, and again, like just being able to share, I guess, that experience with them to be able to win would be really special and then get as many people back here afterwards. But we've got a job to do first. There's been some tough conversations had already with guys that aren't playing at all. All right, disappointing. Make sure we check in with those guys. There's a couple more things to go to work out tonight and see what it looks like after that. But once that's done, all year we've had a 12-hour rule. So for the guys that have got the disappointment, yep, feel shit out, be frustrated, be disappointed. Get up tomorrow, get ready to go because there's a grand final to win in both grades. All right, really important we do that. Let's back it up with some vision. Stoppage, mid ball ups, pulling our forwards away. All right. F1, F2, F3, let's pull away, open up the front of stoppage. Want to force Voss to be accountable. We pull them away, we pull our six forwards away. And we want to be 15 metres off the back there, get some length on the ground. I'm backing us to get it done here. We're the number one contested team in the competition. I'm fucking sick of hearing about how good they've been through the finals contest. We're the number one contest team in the competition. Let's get it done there, get it going our way. All right. Everyone clear? Pretty stock standard, but that's us, all right? Boys, we started the year and we had an opportunity to write our own story. We get to the end point, we get to write the last page here. Let's finish how we want to finish, all right? Let's get about it, let's go. go. To win a premiership, I just think that's the ultimate. That's why you play sport. And I know for the, from the club perspective that the history is that we haven't been great when it matters. Um, five premierships in their uh, history is not a great return, so the challenge for us is to, to try and add that sixth one to the cabinet. As a player, it's the pinnacle, um, but I think when you become so entrenched in a footy club, you realise how much it means to other people as well. Um, not only the people within the four walls, but outside of it, the people that support Glenelg. Um, and yeah, they're bloody hard to win. Oh, look, it'd been a great deal, but it would probably, for me, it's the players and you know, watching the players be able to celebrate and and become part of history. Um, you know, they're the ones that put in all the hard yards and you know, hold full-time jobs and come to training sort of four times a week and um, you know, are really committed to the club and the program. Yeah, I, yeah, I suppose looking back at pre-season, you do some tough sessions and um, yeah, that's what it's all for to, to get to this point of the year. So, it's a Pretty special, lucky position to be in with both grades, um, so we're excited to, to crack in. That's the team, hasn't changed. We're ready to go. John, 100 games. John. Yeah. We know about this bloke and what he means, and I know we don't need any extra motivation in what today is but I reckon that gives us a little bit more motivation. Press and chase, get at them, get at them, chase from behind, put pressure on, be big on the mark when you need to be. That snap is key. Defense wins us the game today because everything else we do flows on the back of it. It'll give us ball in hand opportunities. It'll give us one on one forward of the ball looks. Get this done for 120 minutes today, the rest takes care of itself, all right? That's us. If we get one thing right today, that's us. When we've done that, Teams can't go with us, all right? Get our prep right, 2.30, we're ready to battle. Let's go. We want to have like a real connection with the Guernsey and we want to make it a special occasion every time you pull it on. So that's why we've created 
I guess that moment before a game where you sort of have an experience with the rest of the players pulling on the Guernsey. Well, just for now, but for the rest of your life. Fuck yeah. And connected for the rest of your life. Fuck yeah. That is going to be better. He's got it. The Ken Farmer medalist turns around, threads the needle. Tigers get the first. It's taken seven and a half minutes. Heads out. Hardington to Hosey. Standing start. Hooks around his body. Don't tell me he's kicked it. He has. Lucky. Hosey's got three. Brisbane Lions. McGarry Medal top ten for Corey Lions. Goal kicker and picked up two McGarry medal votes when these teams last played. And that's not a bad effort from a tight angle. That is pretty to watch. He celebrates with the fans and the Tigers that go further ahead. We break the game apart right here. This is the game right here. We take any energy they've got, absorb it. We put it on the scoreboard the other way. We break energy. We don't stop those. We keep going. We keep doing the simple things really, really well. It's a simple game of football. It's not over complicated. It's just a footy going forward. I thought that in the race to the next four forwards, I ain't done spot. Close a lock off defensively and play forward half the ball. It's real simple. If you want to do that, that gets pretty simple. Let's go. Come on. 22 of you. And it'll be over 60 minutes ago. Come on, guys. Beautifully. Snaps around his body. Going for goal. What a start to the third term. It's Glenel. He's enjoying it. Well, the ball trickles over the back here. Did anyone get a touch on it? I don't think they did. Luke Reynolds. to it. Bill feeds Allen. Dangerous in this situation. He likes it. Glenelg got 13. They're looking good. seen my old man cry. He's 74 now and he's in tears and he doesn't even understand footy so I think that probably sums up the emotion of it. It feels great because you know that you've had an input but you know to see all the supporters and the families and the, 
um, some volunteers or people that give up so much of their time to support their players. Um, it's just, yeah, it's magnificent. still remember that exact moment afterwards, like just the embrace and we knew the game was on our hands, the embrace of the players, but then just to be able to get to a point where the coaches were able to come down and share that moment together, I just, yeah, unbelievable. Just, I mean, you just think back about the work we've done, the conversations we've had and the time and effort that like, these guys put in, just unbelievable. And I think that, that moment is just, I must admit, I, I, I did start to break down into tears at that exact moment and gathered myself pretty quickly, but, oh yeah, just phenomenal. And then just to see Premier's 2023 written there already, like, just unbelievable. Did I think it was possible? I, I thought it was possible because of the talent that was here. Did I think that we were going to achieve it? Probably not. Like, I hoped and I wanted to put things in place, but deep down there's that self-doubt that, am I good enough? Uh, is it? Is it the right fit? Um, do we have enough time? Uh, we, are we changing too much here? So there's all that self-doubt and that probably was all the way through the year. There was even times after round 17 where um, we played pretty ordinary against the Eagles and we'd had a pretty bad, like tough, honest review of the game and I went hard at some of our leaders in that review and there was probably a little bit of doubt even then, like, gee whiz, maybe we've peaked too early, maybe we played our best footy in round nine and now we, how are we gonna get back there? And um, yeah, I just still still in a little bit of disbelief that we we're able to achieve what we did. I'd already started thinking about next year, halfway through this year, to be honest. Is if you're not looking to improve, well, you, you might as well give it away. And our team will evolve. There'll be a few changes, like it, like every year, and that's exciting. We've got so much talent coming through. But as always, other clubs will look at what the premiers did and try and take bits of their game. So we'll look to keep improving our game.